Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Our question comes today from David Bradley. Now, he did not give me a call sign, and I looked up all the David Bradleys in uh, the world that have ham licenses, and there's a lot, so I can't pick out which David Bradley, but... Uh, do tell me what your call sign is. Uh, he says, I was wondering, can you run 400 watts of power from a linear amp through a 100 watt SWR transmit receive antenna switching unit rated at 100 watts if the device is not powered on? Now, this sounds like a little active switch with some uh, relays. He says, I unplug the unit, and even though the antenna runs through the switching box prior to the transceiver, I still get a perfect signal, which you will on receive. I am hoping I can just unplug the box when using the amp. Is this possible, as I don't want to burn my switching box? Thanks for your time and assistance, and may God bless. Okay. <clears throat> The answer is no, and let me tell you why. Um, when you're putting power, uh, a lot of RF power, through a switch, the contacts have to be sized right so that when those contacts come together, all of the power can go through without creating a hot spot on the switch. Now, the switch that's inside that box rated for 100 watts, probably actually for 150. You know, the engineers always like to put a little extra in, but certainly not for 400. Okay, so if you try and put 400 through that box, it's going to go through the relay contacts on one side or the other, the default relay contacts, and go out to your antenna, and you're pushing far too much energy through them. Now, it may hold for a while, but eventually you will burn the contacts. Now, one of the problems with a burning of contacts is something called pitting. And I'll show you what that is. Pitting is an interesting phenomenon and used to be a big deal in uh, relays. When you send wire down through a relay contact, which is a plate, sort of round, and here is the contact underneath it that goes off to wherever it goes off to. And note that this can also go up and it will have another contact up here, okay? Depending on whether this goes up or down. Now, one of the things about electrical, especially RF, the voltage waveform is used as the reference waveform, but the current waveform can be offset. Let's suppose it lags by a few degrees here, okay? So you've got a higher voltage here, and you've got current trying to flow this way. When you've got voltage over here pushing against it, and what you end up with here, if this voltage is high enough, is an arc. And this is very common in switched uh, contacts, an arc of some kind. Okay, now a lot of the devices that you will use to handle RF will have a knob with a slider that will come over and hit the contact, okay? I have those in my uh, Alpha Delta 4 uh, switches up here. And what they will do is that they'll keep these rubbing against each other because what happens in this case, <clears throat> by the way, when we have a wave that is delayed from the voltage wave, that is inductance. There is inductance in here. And the inductor wants to keep inducting you know, doing its thing. And so it will create an arc, and what the arc starts to do is to create a little spot on the bottom of this thing. And where does that metal come from? Well, it comes from up here. 
And so you will end up with contacts that look like this. Okay, now the problem with that there is eventually, these don't work nicely and neatly like this, you'll close that relay and it won't unclose because the, it'll snag on the other. So what you need to do with these relays every so often is file off the little bump that's in these, which is a royal pain. Now, if you keep to the ratings of the device, you will not have so much problem here. What they do in higher power devices is bigger contacts, okay? Your antenna. So let me just conclude with this very simple response. The ratings are there for a reason. And it doesn't matter whether the thing is powered on or not. The uh, relay contacts are still there. The power rating of the switch has to do with the internal wire size, switch contact size, uh, making it big enough to avoid pitting, and so on. And during transmission, you run the risk of melting something or even a fire if the device is turned off. Of course, this won't affect anything on receiving. But I recommend that for safety, you either uprate your device, get a bigger device, or take it out of the system when you're going to run power. Now, this is one reason why I don't have uh, an external antenna tuner in my system, is because I have an amplifier that is a, a 400 watt amplifier, and I don't have a tuner that can handle the feedback currents and the reactive currents uh, that are present in a 400 watt signal. So I just make sure that my antenna is properly tuned. So there you have it, a little bit of an explanation about why we want to use the properly rated devices for the transmitting that we're doing. I hope that was helpful. If you have a question for me, send it to uh, askdave at arrl.org, um, or you, you can put it in a comment, but uh, frankly, I don't see the comments always. If I were to look at every comment, I'd be staying up straight for 72 hours to try and, try and look at every, com uh, every comment. So please, questions go to dave at arrl.org. I do see those, okay? And the nice thing about sending it via email, unlike a comment, you can attach a photograph, you can attach a drawing, um, whatever it is that you may want me to look at. So there you have it. And until we next meet, 73. <music>